and welcome. I'm Laura, Canva Creator Ambassador and owner of this channel. This channel is full of lots of different Canva tips, trainings and tutorials and features that you can come and discover about Canva and apply them to your own account and your own designs. This one is part of a little mini series I'm doing over the summer holidays. It's all about different styles of fonts that you can create. So I'm going to dive straight in here. And I'm going to add a text box to my pink background. Um, I'm going to create. I'm going to change the text to huge sale. So we've got a big sale going on, and we want to do something fancy to the font. Making it capitals, and I'm going to change it to Anton. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And I'm going to change this to white. So I've got a white font. Okay, so what I've also done previously is duplicated this to a yellow and to a teal, and I've downloaded these two onto my computer and uploaded them into my upload sections by clicking uploads, upload file, and then you can go and find it from within your computer. So next I've gone over to the frame section in the elements tab and I found these two triangles. I want to add these two triangles in one this side and one this side. So they cover the ends of my words. I'd like them both to be the same size. So I'm just going to make sure they're the same size there. Okay, let's give them a little bit of space. And then I will head over to my uploads. As I mentioned, I'd already uploaded these earlier. And I'm going to drag and drop them into the triangles. Now, if I make these nice and big by double clicking and then cover you can see the white, the original white text underneath. And then cover that white text as much as you possibly can. It is tricky to get it spot on, but you can do it. Okay, let's go with that. So I want the triangle to the front and you can see it's starting to give you that slanty effect there. Okay, and in this side, I'm gonna add the yellow one. I'm gonna bring it to the front, double click on it and then make it big. And then it basically will do exactly the same on the other side. Now I'm going back to the elements and I'm going to type in line. I want a line, not just a, not just a dead straight line. Ah, I like this one. This is a great line. So I'm going to twiddle this round and I'm going to match it. Let's make this a bit bigger for you to see with the yellow side here. There we go. And then if I make that yellow, you can see we've now got that really cool yellow slash. If I duplicate this, spin it around and do the same on the other side. There, I make it teal. You can start to see, I just want to try and line that 
green up there. It's bugging me that I can't get it lined up. That's better. There we go. And then if I move this into space, and then if we step back, you have this really cool looking huge sale poster. Now you can do this very, very quickly. You have to download two images that have the two colors you want to use either end. And then if you can find the lines, you can then just put them in place and you've got this really lovely looking graphic that you can now use in your business. So like I said, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I love creating stuff like this. I, I find it so much fun to be able to create something different and I hope you do as well. So please come back, please subscribe to the channel and come and check out everything else we've got going on.